Hello, my name is Sarah Hernandez, and I would like to tell you about a teacher who inspires me. Her name is Darlene Hernandez, and she is a deaf and hard of hearing teacher. She is my mother, and she became a teacher later in life. Her eldest daughter became deaf, profoundly deaf, at age six months, and from then on, she jumped into the world of the deaf community. When she decided to become a deaf and hard of hearing teacher, she wanted to make a difference in the lives of her students and family. To me, there's three reasons why she inspires me. One is seeing how she always is continually learning, going to different conferences, going to see other specialists, and you know, just reading things, always trying to learn more about her job. Second is that she truly, truly, truly enjoys her work. I've never once heard her complain. And being a sub teacher, sometimes we hear other teachers talking in the, t in the teacher's lounge. And I've never once heard her complain. Even if she had something slightly negative to say, she would always end it with, but I love my job. I love what I'm doing. I love how I impact the families. And I love working with the children. And lastly, I kind of touched on it, but I love seeing how she not only impacts her students, but also the families as well. She worked through different positions until she got to the last position she was at. So before she was itinerant teacher and she would go to the middle schools and high schools and just uh, continue to help the students get having one-on-one, uh, -on -one, meeting one-on-one -on -one with them, um, checking in to see how they're doing with their hearing. Then she moved on to being a preschool teacher. And then lastly, she's doing what she really, really, really wanted to do, and that is going to the homes of infants and toddlers and just helping them with their spoken language, um, just playing with the infants and being a resource to the families. And throughout those all those positions, one thing that that's always in common, which was also the learning, but she always stayed connected with the parents. I remember seeing her um, calling parents on the phone, and informing them about their child and through every stage of her career she would always 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 stay in touch with the parents and now even more so as the infant with the infant and toddlers I see it much more clearly and that's one thing that really inspires me that I would like to take with me as as I move on to be a teacher and one of the reasons that I can say that she has such a good relationship with their families because they're always like calling her, thanking her, texting her, sending her videos like, oh, so-and-so, he's doing his uh, his alphabet, he's saying the ABCs, or he just told me how to spell his name, or he just showed me um, how to spell his name, or he just showed me the colors, you know, and they're getting really excited, the parents are getting really excited that they're learning. Uh, different things and then even sometimes I get to meet the families because they'll come to like our family parties or or we'll go to their family parties whenever they turn like one or two or three and so seeing that like it's really a community that that we have with them or that she has with them and I get to see it and I hope that in the future I can take that with me that I, I'm not just like a separate from school and family like that we can merge together somehow in a supportive way where I can be a resource and they can trust me and I can trust them and we can have an open conversation about their child and to, to make sure that the child succeeds together. And so that's one of, one of the three reasons why she inspires me to become a teacher and something that, that I would really enjoy taking into my own classroom. Thank you.